was less than two years after Hurricane Katrina and the Seventh Ward neighborhood still crippled by the storm. This area was pretty decimated by Hurricane Katrina, uh, so there weren't a lot of people in the neighborhood. And that lack of lives provided the perfect backdrop for a violent killing. On the night of August 6th, 2007, Thomas Jackson and his friend were walking through the neighborhood on North Rochablave Street. They were coming towards St. Anthony, so toward this intersection. Investigators say that they passed up two people sitting on a porch when for some reason the four began to argue. They continued past the house where the guys were sitting at and they came close to the intersection of St. Anthony when the two guys ran off the porch, ran up behind him and shot Mr. Jackson. As Jackson was on the ground, his friend tried to pick him up and take him away when detectives Detective Ryan Oakwin says one of the suspects did something strange. He throws a cup, like a styrofoam cup, at the at the victim as he's laying on the ground, um, and then they take take off running up St. Anthony. Oakwin calls this a senseless killing. We see it in kids, uh, we see it in young adults, and we see it in adults that just never were never taught how to resolve their conflicts without violence. But Oakwin is hoping to resolve this case. He says despite the desolate conditions, there were still some people who lived in the area who may still live there and know the suspects involved. Reporting from the 7th Ward, I'm Randy Russo, WDSU News.